Okay, in this video, um, I'm going to briefly go over the roughness for new pipes. Um, in the last video, we introduced something called, um, oh, what was it called? I think it was called the relevant roughness um, of a pipe, of a new pipe, okay? And the relative roughness was our epsilon over diameter. So if you had a pipe, let's say this was a pipe, and it had a certain diameter, I don't know, two inches, okay? We can find the relative roughness by using this formula. The relative roughness is equal to epsilon over the diameter of this pipe. Now, this table right here gives us values um, epsilon, which are the equivalent roughness values, okay? And that's what epsilon stands for. So whenever we need to find um, the relative roughness of a pipe, which we use to um, figure out frictional the frictional factor in in the Moody chart, which I'll discuss in the next video. We use this table. So say we had a pipe, and in the problem we're figuring out something, and they said um, the pipe was made out of cast iron pipe, and we were working in um, U.S. customary units. Well, for um, did I say cast iron? Yeah, I think I said cast iron. So if, if the problem stated it was a cast iron pipe, you come over here and if we're working to use customary units, um, the value of epsilon would be given. It'd be 0 0.00085, right? And if we're working in metric units, well, same thing. Is in millimeters, it'll be uh, 0 0.26, okay? And, and these are in units of feet, and these are in units of millimeters, okay? Not meters. And um, you notice at the very bottom we have plastic and glass. Now, for every book, I'm using the Munson 6th edition uh, Fundamentals of Fluid Mechanics book. This is the chart given in that book, um, just for the sake of learning how to use um, this formula, along with the Moody chart and you know all the other formulas we introduced in the last video. Um, I know all books are going to have different values for different types of pipes um, because you know everybody does experiments differently. These were all figured out using experiments. If you coming out the bottom, my book or at least this chart says plastic and glass. If a pipe is made out of plastic or glass, um, their roughness uh, or their equivalent rough roughness epsilon is is zero or it might be so very very small that uh, it doesn't really make any difference so it's, it's, it's a very 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 small epsilon value um, in my chart they just say it's, it's zero okay so when we have a pipe and they say what type of pipe it is what what material it's made out of that should give you a little hint to come over here and use this table to find um, our epsilon values because we'll need the rel the relevant roughness which is epsilon over the diameter of pipe to find um, frictional factors okay